Hey guys! So I meant to update when we left the house and I didn't, but, and the lighting is really sucky. I'm sorry. So um, we're on our way to Kentucky for my graduation and we are in Alabama, like Northern Alabama roughly right now. And we're at the halfway point. So it's an eight hour drive from Mississippi to my college in Kentucky. So we're four hours in. So we're halfway there. We've got Andre back there, Isaac over there, Dennis is in the store. Um, so yeah, I meant to actually start like vlogging as soon as I left the house and you know, in the car along the way and I didn't. But this is the first stop we've made um, just to use the bathroom and get a couple snacks. So we're about to get on the road as soon as Dennis gets back in the car. And yeah, so like I said, I wanted to vlog this weekend because I'm graduating college, woo woo. And I definitely wanted to document this um, special event because I have worked super hard to get here and it has been a very long time coming and so I wanted to take y'all along with me. So hopefully um, we'll remember to vlog and get some decent footage this weekend. So I'll update y'all later. Hey Dennis. Hey Dennis. First time y'all seen him in a long time. Yeah, say hey, say hey. Y'all never see hey. the kids, which I tell everybody on my channel that I have teenagers now so they don't care to be on camera anymore. Dennis got a frappe from McDonald's. Let me take a swig. Okay, y'all, we're about to get back on the road. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. Well, y'all, we just made it to Wendy's. Well, I say we just made it. I couldn't finish my food. There's Isaac. Andre and Dennis are missing in action, they've gone elsewhere. Anyways, we've made it to Owensboro. Yay, finally. That was a very long eight hour drive, but we're in Owensboro now. I have a major headache. I think my sinuses are killing me. We're gonna go to the hotel and check in. And my head still hurts, I may lay down for a second. I'll show y'all a room tour when we get there. I don't think it's gonna be anything like spectacular. Um, it's like a Hampton Inn on their, on like the waterfront or something, but we probably won't have a great view or anything. Anyways, I look rough. Eight hours of driving makes you look really rough. My hair is a big frizzy mess because I straightened it this morning and it looked so good until I got outside in the Mississippi humidity this morning before we left and it was like, pfft, hair blew up. So yeah, I look rough. I hope they don't have food in my teeth. My mom and stepdad are uh, coming to my graduation too. They're actually gonna be staying at the same hotel we are and I think they're about an hour and a half behind us. If any of y'all that watch my channel live in Nashville, is y'all's traffic always that bad? Because coming through Nashville, OMG, traffic was horrible. Like it was scaring me, it was bumper to bumper, there were accidents. I was glad to be out of Nashville traffic. And now we're in Owensboro, Kentucky, where my university is. I'll see y'all when I get to the room. Door. 
Like I said, our room is anything special. We're just at the Hampton Inn. Uh -huh. So here's the bathroom right when you come in. So, like I said, nothing just super special, just kind of like your basic bathroom. Uh, but yeah, there's that. And then there's a little closet. So we um, hung up some stuff in here. And then here's um, one bed. Isaac's gonna sleep on that bed. And then there's like television and stuff. And then um, this bed, me and Dennis will sleep here. And then they said we had one of the few rooms with a sofa um, in our room and it makes up to a bed. So Andre's gonna sleep there. There's Andre. And then what's cool is this hotel is on the waterfront. It's on the Ohio River. And we actually have a view of the river, which I certainly did not expect that we would. I think I even mentioned to y'all earlier, we probably won't have a view of the river because I think you had to pay an upcharge to get a room um, of, the, of the river. Well, there's quite a few rooms that do face this way, so maybe not everyone requested that. But I see a boat or something way out there, so I can't tell if it's like a tugboat. Some kind of a uh, boat way out there. But, um, yeah, I want to go outside after a while. I'm hoping my headache will go away. And then there is like a huge bridge, and I'm not sure where exactly that bridge goes. But, yeah. Anyway, guys, I feel rough. I look rough. Um, I drove the whole way here, the whole eight hours, but it's mostly because I'm not a good, um, like, backseat driver type of driver if you know what I mean. Dennis drives perfectly fine but anybody driving me makes me super nervous so if I can drive I'd rather drive. Now going back he's probably gonna want to take a turn <laughs> but I'm gonna try to convince him to at least let me drive halfway. Um, it'll just make me feel better. But anyway I still have this major headache. If I'm gonna lay here and rest just for a few minutes and hopefully my headache will go away my mom and them ought to be here like in the next 30 minutes. And then I don't know what we're going to do. Like I said, I want to walk outside to that river area. And then um, I want to stop by my school because the uh, little store at the college is going to be open until 9 o'clock tonight. And I want to do that at some point before they close because they're, um, they're going to be closed all day tomorrow. And I want to get like a sweatshirt or something out of the store. So that is my plans. We are going to go eat barbecue because they're known for their barbecue here in Owensboro. So we're going to eat barbecue for dinner. But we kind of ate late at Wendy's, so I'm hoping that we won't eat dinner super early so I can get another appetite going. But anyway, I will update y'all later. Look how pretty it is out here. It's really relaxing. Like, I like this. And look, you can walk out on a little pier that goes further out over the water. It's really relaxing out here. Like, looking at it on camera, y'all, it doesn't look super spectacular, but it's really pretty in person. Okay, y'all. I have to tell y'all. Okay, here's the back of our hotel. So our room is one that faces this river. All right, y'all, we're room 211, okay? My mom and stepdad checked in. They're room 311. Like, what are the odds of that? So this is a funny story. It's what, five floors, six floors? Six floors. My mom and stepdad could have gotten any room on any floor and they got room 311. So we heard stomping in the room above us and I just didn't think anything about it. I thought it was like kids running around. And, and Dennis was like, "That's they're probably right above us. I'm like, yeah, they're 311, but maybe they're lined up differently up above us. We'll come to find out it was my stepdad stomping on the floor above us to see if we heard him. So like, what is what are the odds? It's such a coincidence. We didn't set it up like that, neither did they. So like, I, we just thought that was really weird. Like me and my family have, have a really weird connection. You know that like every time I go to the grocery store, I either run into my mom, my grandmother, or my brother. And like now we're staying in a whole different state in a hotel with a ton of rooms and we're in 211 and 311. <laughs> it's crazy. Party go down in 211. Party go down in 211. Yeah, all the four of us are party animals. <laughs> You remember, Dennis, when we used to vlog all the time? Like, all the time. Remember? Like, y'all y'all have known, we used to vlog on all of our dates, um, all of our family um, things that we did, and I don't know, with school and interning and working, like, I just, I got to where I was so busy that when I had time off, I just, honestly, half the time, I forgot to pick up my camera. I used to carry it around with me wherever I went, and I got out of that habit. So, I've got to get back into that, which I have my phone, so I guess there's no excuse. Hey there, Dennis. Aren't you looking rather cute? 
No, I need to put some clothes on. He wants to go change. We will when we go eat. But you're still cute. Isn't he cute, y'all? Tell him he's cute. He likes that. He eats that stuff up. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I came to my school, Brescia University. But I have no idea where the store is. <laughs> so I may have to go in and ask somebody. Because I have no clue. I Hot dog. <gasps> I just want to get something today that I want. You deserve it. Let me look around a bit. Oh, I'm definitely. I just don't know what yet. Ooh, y'all know I love mugs. And they got Camelback water bottles. That's cute. The courtyard of Brush. I bet that's one dorm, Saffer Hall. Yeah, it should be a courtyard. Yeah. And you know what? I like old dorms. I bet the dorm rooms. Actually, no. I saw a picture. I saw. No, I saw better than a picture. There's a YouTube video of two girls showing their dorm rooms. They renovated, even though it's an old, old building. They renovated those dorm rooms. So anybody who wants to come to Brush University to college. They renovated the dorm rooms and they are so cute. Mm -hmm. They're like a tour guide. This is a private college and it's a Catholic college. And Mississippi College in Mississippi, where I went one semester after high school, is also a private mm -hmm. college, Christian college. It's not a Catholic school, but bigger than this campus. But I like it. This is very like relaxing and homey and cute. And there's a little tennis court over here. But I think that's one of the dorms. It's so super cute. I really like it out here. And then I got a little gazebo cat's den. The cat's den down there, you see it? It's kind of like a little hidden place down there. They have activities for college students in there, like game night and karaoke, and um, they have like parties and events down there. It's called the cat's den. I know a lot about this school for me not to have uh, lived on campus. It's just because I went to this school, and so you know, I did right my there. research. Be outstanding in her field. Is this Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus? Well, I, I should hug Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. Now guys, if I lived in the Owensboro, Kentucky community and was a younger person and lived on campus here, um, or I had to take that back skirt, had a choice of schools, this would honestly be the type of school I would go to. Because like I said, I chose Mississippi College when I was younger because I like the smaller schools. Um, a lot of people like the bigger universities, like party universities, but I never was like a party girl. And um, I like more cozy, homey, pretty campuses. I'm not really into like the whole huge Mississippi state. If you're from Mississippi, you would know these kind of colleges. You know, I'm just not in, a lot of people like that. I think it's whatever floats your boat. I like these smaller campuses like this. I'm not gonna walk around and just show everything because I'm hot and it's humid out here. So I just wanna walk around for a second. Here's some more. Brescia University of Science building. And I'm still yet to find my um, Brescia School of Social Work building. I think this is another uh, dorm. Look at these old houses in this little community. Like, how cute is that? Do these type of houses not do something to you? They're not for everybody. Not everybody likes these type of houses. If I had a lot of money, because these are like, you can tell these are massive houses. I love them. They're like full of character. I just like older homes. Like, they do something to me when I look at them. I can't even explain it. This is the type of house I used to want to live in. Like these just old-timey, huge but they all have the original hardwood floors. There's a little chapel I bet you is Catholic because this whole community is known for being Catholic, mm -hmm. which is why this school is Catholic. I bet some college students rent out these houses and share rooms and split the cost of the rent so. because they're huge and you could literally walk to campus. I literally feel like I am like one of those recruiters for a college because I know so much about this school even though I didn't actually attend on campus. I went here for almost four years and I know a lot about the school and let me just say 
<laughs> that I lost my train of thought. It was a good thought. Um, hold it. Let me think because I got to say this was very important. Uh, oh, Brescia University makes everybody, even online students like myself, feel like you are a part of the college experience and a part of their community. That is one thing I've noticed. I think that's one reason that I grew to love my professors and love the students and love this school is just because they make you feel like you were a normal student that's an on-campus student. You meet online with your classmates and your teacher. You can see everybody in the classroom. So even though I was an online student, I still feel like I got the full college experience for the most part. It is, it is different. You do get a full experience living on campus. But I'm just saying overall, I feel like I got a full college experience going here and I was just simply an online student. That's how well they run the school and how awesome the professors are and everything about the school. So I feel like a recruiter, I'm not. I just really love this school and I'm glad that I found it. 83 degrees y'all, but it feels like it's hotter. It's like a lot of humidity. Well Brescia, at least I came to see you in person. What I've longed for for so long. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I completely forgot to show y'all where we're eating. Whole, old Hickory Barbecue in Owensboro, Kentucky. So if any of y'all have been here or eaten here, let us know how it tastes. But it was packed, it smells delicious, so we assume it's really, really good. And before I tell y'all what this is, what is mutton? Does anybody know what mutton is? We got mutton, chopped mutton, mutton ribs, sliced mutton. What is mutton? Go ahead, answer it down below. Mutton is bad. Sheep and Dennis is gonna try some mutton ribs and Andre is getting mutton ribs. I've never had sheep a day in my life. So you'll have to let me know how it is. And I think I've decided on the quarter chicken and coleslaw and barbecue beans. <laughs> Say hey! Dave doesn't really like to be in videos. Yeah. So we'll just show Nana. That's my mom. That's my girl. Say hey, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where, where's the mutton? It must be that. Mutton, people. Mutton. He's got mutton too, and I want. I want. Yes, and I want the first impression of a sheep. <laughs> I want to know is it delicious, average, or gross? Which of the three? <laughs> oh, are you trying the sheep too? Yeah. Alright, let's get the full review. <laughs> Pretty good. Does it taste different? Does it taste like regular rib? Like if no one told you that was a sheep, would you think it was different than any other rib you would eat? No. You would say it's different. Well, yeah. The meat does. It does. Yeah. Oh gosh, I'm scared. Oh yeah. That's oh, right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's, that's not bad. Really. So Dennis said, if he were to eat that, no one would tell him it's sheep. He would know that it's different. But it's good, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I just try to bite, and to me, I don't feel like it tastes that different. Maybe a little different. But you know what, what do you think, Isaac? It kind of tastes like regular meat. Yeah, yeah it tastes pretty normal. It's like maybe maybe a little different, but it but it's good. You think it's good too, Andre? Mm -hmm. And then I got this: a quarter chicken, coleslaw, baked beans, brisket, chicken. Most of them got ribs and stuff. And I'm gonna eat now. Okay guys, I'm back on the bed. <laughs> so we just got home from eating. Everybody wanted to stop at Dairy Queen on the way home, so we got like a small ice cream treat. And now we're back in the room, and it is, what time is it y'all? Nine o'clock exactly. Dennis and I, um, Andre, I think are gonna wanna watch basketball playoffs, so they may watch that. I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos and rest. Cause I'm exhausted and we gotta get up early in the morning. So this is probably the last time I'm gonna talk to y'all tonight. Tomorrow would be my graduation and so I'm gonna make Dennis record. Hopefully he'll record as much as he can. Um, hopefully it's bright in there because I like good lighting. So hopefully that will be decent. 
I don't know what all footage I got today, so hopefully it was okay. I don't feel like getting up right now. Sorry, I'm just kind of lazy. But I'm gonna show y'all tomorrow what my mom got me as a graduation gift because it's so sweet. Um, but I'll show y'all that tomorrow. And I think this will be the last clip that I record tonight. So tomorrow, Dennis will probably be filming during my graduation, so hopefully he'll get some decent footage. And um, I'll see you tomorrow for graduation day.